This video guide takes us from the Iron Bridge at Akavana across to Moyne, then on to Tinahili and down to Clonigal. At a total of 53 kilometres, it's a section that's probably best split over two days. Akavana to Tinahili is about 21 kilometres, so it's really manageable in one day. As you cross the saddle between Valley Teague and Shieldstown, the central plains of Ireland come into view. A section of single track, grass centred roads leads to Sandyford Bridge and Ballycumber. Contouring to the south brings you to Mangan's Wood, where you can divert into Tinhealy Village or continue to Curravanish. The pretty Muskay Bowreen leads to Mullin Cuff and small winding roads onward to Bowley. The end is almost in sight now with excursions across Stukeen and Moilisha Hills as the route finally descends into the historical village of Clonigal. This section of the Wicklow Way is of moderate difficulty on roads, forest tracks and smaller trails. The route is marked throughout with yellow way markers. The Wicklow Way is a mountain route and you should be suitably equipped, even for these lower sections. Walkers should ensure that they wear suitable footwear, sturdy walking boots and not trainers, as the ground is undulating and it can often be wet underfoot. You may also need waterproofs and extra warm layers as even in high summer our weather is changeable and when you're tired you get cold. Pack a whistle, a bivvy bag and a first aid kit in case of emergencies. Pack a full day's worth of food and water and always pack more than you think you're going to need. Bring a hard copy map and download any online map into your device as phone signal is not guaranteed. Starting at Iron Bridge, follow the road to the first junction and take a sharp left towards Ballyteague Lodge. Shortly, you'll enter the forest on your right and ascend through the woodland. Keep an eye on the beautiful crystal clear brook beside you. There's lots of lovely photograph opportunities here. Having crossed through the gap between Shieldstown Hill and Ballygobbin, you'll descend through the forest onto the road. Take a left and follow the way markers down to Moyne where the route leads you down a short stretch of Boreen to join the Ballycumber Road. Don't let the fact that this stretch is on a road put you off. It's a tiny, pretty, grass down the middle single track road. You may possibly meet the postman but that's about it. Keep following this till a sudden steep descent towards a bridge. Just before the bridge, take the track to your right across the small ford. You'll be glad you went with the hiking boots here. Follow this track as it winds around Ballycumber Hill. The generous landowners allow access for walkers, so please respect their livelihoods and keep their livestock where they want them. Before you hit the forestry at Mangan's Hill, there's a choice to divert down Mangan's Lane to Tinahili Village where you can enjoy good food and accommodation. Or you can continue on the marked route down the very pretty Kulafunshild Lane to Curravanish. Stage 2 covers Curravanish to Clonigal. This is a 32 km section, so give yourself a good long day. Setting off again from Curravanish, you can enjoy the pops of colour on the ferry trail as you ascend the steps to the beginning of the lovely Muskay Boreen. Follow the picturesque track along the contours of Muskay Hill and take a left onto the country road leading to Mullinacuff. Continue to use the yellow way markers to make your way to Stranakelly Crossroads. Here you'll find the Dying Cow Pub. Don't forget to take a selfie with Douglas, the new hand-carved landmark with his dog by his side. 
The Dying Cow offers a chance to rest and replenish, and there are also overnight options here. Now we circumnavigate Cronley Hill and cross the main Shalala Ruchatolo Road at Bowley. As you gently climb along the road, look out for a right turn way marked into Rahina Kit Forest on the slopes of Stukeen Hill. You are now in the beautiful South Wicklow rolling foothills and will soon descend to the road above Parkbridge. If you feel like a treat, divert here and spend the night glamping at the Old Forge before continuing to Clonigal the next morning. Follow the road to the northern side of Moilisha Hill and then enter the forest and enjoy the views across County Carlow before re-emerging onto the road at Old Smithy and covering your last few kilometres into Clunigall village. Give yourself time for a well-deserved rest and stroll around Clunigall. Take in Huntington Castle and Osborne's Bar where the counter is made of old coffins and give yourself a firm pat on the back. Well done. <laughs>